Later this year, we'll see the U.S. release of Haruki Murakami's new novel, The City and Its Uncertain Walls. This will be the first time that Murakami has published a novel in English since 2018 with Killing Commendatory. And it's got me thinking about what exactly do we want and expect from Haruki Murakami in 2024. Obviously within the past several years and probably throughout his whole career there's been a lot of criticism about the way he writes women in his work. Um, there's been a general feeling that he kind of operates in the same sandbox over and over again and includes kind of the same tropes. I think some of that is totally just you know an author doing what they're good at and doing what they like. At the same time we've moved forward as a society and things aren't the same as they were in the late 70s and early 80s and 90s when he was kind of coming up and becoming more and more famous. Um, I don't think it necessarily means that all of his work has aged badly or anything like that, but I do think that since he is a person existing in 2024, there is possibly an expectation that his new work would be a little different or attuned to the times that we're living in. I know that allegedly the new book is kind of a rework of Hard Boiled Wonderland and the End of the World, and if that's the case it'll be really interesting to see what that means in the context of him updating his work for a newer time period. This book is great, it's one of my favorite Murakami novels, but at the same time, within the first 20 pages it has some questionable things to say about the first woman you see in the book. And so it has me wondering, maybe I should go back and reread this. It's been quite a few years since I've done it. And I kind of want to see the difference between this and what he has coming out later this year. Um, I know internationally the book has been out already and certainly go talk to someone about it like that. Um, but for an American audience, I'm still waiting on the book. I know it doesn't come out until way late this year. But yeah, what do we want? from him in this day and age. I think that what personally I want to see is maybe a little bit of self-awareness of his own tropes and how he writes. I'm sure he's not quite as online as the rest of us, but he's gotta be aware of like how he's viewed in culture, and so I wonder if he has any sort of commentary on that. Um, I'd also like to see him write his characters in a way that are a little bit more interesting and different than the way he's done it in the past. Um, whether that means maybe characters not oogling at women in the same way that he does in his older works. He's certainly taken stabs at modernizing his approach. Um, if you look at Colorless Tsukuru Tazaki, um, that book is set in present day and Facebook is a big part of it. And even Killing Commendatory has a certain air of modernness to it, but you know, him deciding to kind of go back to a world that he's already tread on, allegedly, again, the book's not out yet, um, has me thinking that maybe it will be sort of a modern update of what he's done in the past. Do I expect to like the book as much as I like his older stuff? Probably not, honestly. I don't think it's any different than like listening to an old band that you really like and then they come out with like a new album when they're all 65 and you're like, well, it's not going to be as good. And that's okay. But I am excited for it. I'm ready to see what he has to offer. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if he hasn't changed at all and he just kind of keeps coming out with the same stuff that he always has. I do think his work has been on a little bit of a downturn within the past five years or so. The collection Men Without Women was great, but then the one he put out afterwards, uh, First Person Singular, really didn't do anything for me. So I'm hoping for the best. Um, if any of you have already read the book, whether you're in Germany or Japan or elsewhere, please let me know your thoughts on it. Um, but yeah, what do we want from Haruki Murakami in 2024? If you have any ideas, please put them in the comments section below. I'd love to hear it.